Hi guys. Today, we have a review, of new smartphone, Verne, 4, e it is improved version, of previous, Verne, 4. Although, new smartphone uses the same processor, and display has remained unchanged, with 5 inch and HD resolution, the battery has been significantly increased. And now it has a metal back panel, and its own Android firmware. By the way, we received, Verne, 4, E, from Gearbest, and tested it for a week in everyday life. So, we have a complete test report, with all details. Have fun, while watching our video review. Verne, 4, E, comes in a regular packaging. It's white box, with logo on the front panel, and main specifications list on the rear. Inside, there is also nothing special. You will find smartphone itself, quick charger, pump express, micro USB charging cable, SIM pin, and user manual. Also, there is a protective factory film on smartphone screen. We removed it, before review. Design Verne, 4, E is rather controversial. Of course, it is not ugly. Maybe, even very pretty for someone. But we think, that it is something old fashioned. Perhaps, it is due to the strange, prominent bar at the rear panel. However, it is the highlight of smartphone, on the background of million other Chinese devices. It's a pity, for an E, 4, E, is not completely made of metal. But you should not forget, that it is budget smartphone, about $100. The smartphone uses plastic, that looks like brushed metal. The plastic also has its positive sides. The smartphone is very lightweight, for a battery monster, with 162 grams. Also, for an E, 4, E, has a 8.9 mm thick, that is good result for 5000 mAh battery. It is really slim body. Under the screen, you can find touch buttons. Above the display is status LED indicator, that lights up only green. At the back is camera, and brand logo at the bottom. For an E, 4, E, feels comfortable in the hand. Also, all components fit well, nothing clatters. For an E is relatively compact, and easy to use, smartphone thanks to its 5-inch display. The screen has a resolution of 720p. The touch panel supports, up to 5 touch points. This screen has decent pixel density, and colors of display are pretty fair, and accurate. If you think, that processor, MediaTek, MT6753, has been retired, you are wrong. The processor is still actively used, by manufacturers, including inside the smartphone, Verne. To our surprise, this does not have any negative impact. The smartphone works very smooth, and fast, in everyday life. However, you may notice problems, with more productive applications, for example, Google Maps, when you move the map. Most games runs very well. We could play, Asphalt Extreme, on high settings without any delays or hangs. 
Another game, GT Racing 2, runs quite smoothly, at the highest graphics setting. Also, Verne E, 4, E, has 3 GB of RAM. It provides good multitasking. You can open at once, up to P10 apps, and switch between them without reloading. The user storage is 16 GB. It is quite small by modern standards, but you can insert, micro SD memory card. Also, we were pleasantly surprised by, fingerprint sensor, which is located on the back panel. It is extremely fast. We can say, that it is one of the fastest sensors you can find in the smartphone market. Vani can be proud of this. At first glance, Vani 4E, is equipped with average hardware. In practice, however, the smartphone provides a great performance. Later, we'll make detailed, benchmark tests, and gaming performance. Subscribe to our channel. Tech Brothers, not to miss detailed tests. Verne E, 4, E, comes with its own firmware, called VOS, that means Verne E O S. It is a custom ROM from Verne E, which is approach similar idea of, Synergen Mod, Lineage OS, or Oxygen OS. It does not provide much changes in user interface, but it can offer useful functions. Vani OS looks like a stock Android. The first differences are visible when you try to change the wallpaper. The smartphone, Vani 4E, allows you to easily change background image of lock and home screen without having to use different menus. As for the extra functions, we should say about, e-ink mode. Verne E, 4, E, has a special button on the left side, that activated e-ink mode. It switches usual Android interface, to a special, black and white launcher. It clocks down, CPU and GPU performance. LAN, Bluetooth, and data connection, are also deactivated but you can turn them on, if necessary. E-ink mode, significantly reduce power consumption, and ensure a long battery like. However, you need to know, that smartphone in, e-ink mode, can launch only 6 apps. So, it can be useful, when you are reading books, or you need to keep the battery charged, as long as possible. Unfortunately, it cannot be used consistently, due to strong performance limitations. Both cameras in, Verne E, 4, E, are interpolated. The main camera is increased from its native 8 megapixels, to 13 megapixels, and the front camera from 5 megapixels, to 8 megapixels. Later, we'll make detailed camera test, and show you photo and video samples. Now, we want to say, that photos from main camera, looks pretty good. In daylight, the camera produces great pictures, especially in macro mode. Also, camera is surprisingly good at dusk. LED flash is very good for close-up, and macro shooting. The front camera offers good performance, for its price class. If you are a Sealfire enthusiast, then it is not suitable. But for regular user, who sometimes likes to take a picture, or talk on video chat, it is quite good. The main features of, Verne E, 4, is battery. Its capacity is about 5000 mAh. What we have on practice. If you use GPS tracking for several hours, screen with full brightness, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and other functions, that drain battery, you should expect on, 6 hours of battery life. 
while less aggressive using, the smartphone can work for two days. Also, if you enable save energy mode, you can get even three to four days. So, the battery life is very good. By the way, Verne 4 e has quick charging, called Pump Express. It allows you to charge smartphone at 50% for about one hour. In extreme situations, you can charge the phone for a few minutes and stretch the charge for the whole day. The Ni 4e is good budget smartphone with some very interesting features. First of all, we should say about an unusual design. Although the body is made of plastic, but it attracts attention and stands out against the background of competitors. Also, the smartphone has a special physical button that activates e-ink mode. The manufacturer says that battery is the main feature of smartphone and we agree with this. Also, the Ni 4e, good performance and cameras, but we'll talk about this later when we conduct detailed tests. We will publish videos with gaming performance and camera test of the Ni 4e. Subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers, not to miss new videos. And the last, but not less interesting part, the price. The Ni 4e costs about $100. This is an excellent price for the features that smartphone offers. Under the video, you can find links where to buy cheaper and other useful information. Thanks for watching. See you in next videos.